think I fixed what was going on with the audio, I believe. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to have to see how this goes, to be honest. Um, yeah. Uh, hang on. We're live. We are live. I'm just going to check if we are live. Um. Yeah, are we live? Yeah, are we live? Yeah, okay, lads, we are live. Let's get into this. So welcome ladies and gentlemen to the F1 Manager 23 series. We're here with Mercedes today, the Bahrain Grand Prix. Um, this stream obviously, fingers crossed, should run smoothly, I hope. Um, obviously we did have a few teething problems with the microphone, but we'll get on with that. But obviously as the, as the title of the stream suggests, we are driving with Mercedes today. We are going um, to be starting Mercedes we're going to make that man right there, Mr. Lewis Hamilton, an eight-time world champion. That is the goal of this series. We've just got to hope that Hamilton does not retire before we get um, to when Mercedes is pretty much competitive. But obviously, we're here on the 20th of February to start this series. The first race is on the 3rd of March, so it's going to be quite exciting. Um, obviously, we have a few things to sort out um, at the start. Um, but then obviously we should be able to get on with it instantly. Um, another thing, right, we're going to do with three things at first. We're obviously, we're going to um, design uh, the car parts and stuff, which is obviously going to be um, the plan. Um, we're going to develop car parts. Um, I'm thinking about getting a new reserve driver uh, today, um, getting rid of Mick um, and getting maybe someone else in. But he is only 23, so we'll look at that later on, potentially. Um, we might get the new race engineer um, for uh, Russell. And we might try and get Lambiassi from Red Bull, who is Max Verstappen's engineer, um, to maybe weaken them. Um, but, to be honest, we're, we're all starting quite well. So what we're going to do is we are going to start by uh, developing some car parts, which is going to be huge, potentially, for us. Um, obviously, we're going to design, uh, but do an underfloor, I'm thinking. Obviously, Mercedes, uh, we are, have a limited amount of resource points. Um, but realistically, this is the only upgrade we're going to be able to get on the car at the start of the season. So what we're going to do is we are going to, well, um, put a lot of our time this the, this sequence onto the upgrades for next uh, the next races or whatever. So... Um, we're doing an oil on the floor and we're going to put 2.4 wind hours on that at CFD hours because obviously we're, it's 14 days this period, there's no way that we can get to the end potentially but that already gets us up by 4 so that's quite massive to be honest um, and then we're also going to do 32 hours on um, the... Um, wind tunnel Aerodynamic which is a massive part we're just going to ignore Aubrey um, to be honest first thing I'm going to do is we are going to get rid of the total extra weight which is going to be massive and yeah that gets us by 6 um, in terms of that um, so what actually we'll go back we're, we'll cancel this for a minute let's actually have a, a quick we've jumped in ahead of ourselves let's have a quick look where this car is actually quite weak um, to be honest um, let's do I'm gonna say Ferrari. I think they're gonna be closest to us. And yeah, we are struggling. Okay, so a massive thing is gonna be acceleration, which seems to be the Mercedes weakest point. Yeah, in terms of thingy, uh, in terms of this. So what we'll do is we'll compare our underfloor, which Ferrari is actually first, so that's actually really, really bad for us. So what I'm going to do is I think we will focus probably an upgrade on the high speed, I think, to start with. Get an, uh, an upgrade which will allow us to get rid of the minimum lifespan as well. So that could potentially be quite big. So that is what we'll do for the moment. Um, and then where else should we, what other upgrade should we do? Um, um, so we have, I think, let's do a side pod upgrade because I feel like that's where Ms. Merkel we. Um, so Ferrari, 3rd, 11th, 9th, 15th. Okay, we're going to do a side pod upgrade and we're going to do an underfloor upgrade to start with here. And then we'll do a front wing and rear wing when 
uh, the next CFD time comes in. So we'll start off with an underfloor today. Uh, we're going to do 2.4 on this. Uh, nicely done. And we'll do 32 hours, I'd say, on this. Um, so, yeah, 32. Uh, can we get this to 32? Yeah, we can. Um, so that automatically gets us up by 4. And that is just with the box standard... Um, like the allocation of the CFD time, so that is massive. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get rid of this minimum lifespan because apparently it's quite crap. But what we'll do is obviously when we get later down the line in terms of races, the only real mileage we'll put on the new part is the qualifying in the race because obviously uh, we can change our parts, so that could be huge. And obviously, for FP3, we will put the um, what's it called. We will end up putting, uh, what was I going to say? We'll end up putting um, the new parts on. So we'll be getting the the uh, the knowledge of the parts anyway. And obviously, I think it's the pair of them um, in general. So obviously, we're going to end up doing a high speed upgrade, which I think we are realistically at Merck going to need. Um, what are we likely going to do for high speed? So that's what we're going to do in high speed. That's 10. And realistically, we're only losing one anyway, one position. So that's not bad. And we are gaining. We're gaining 10 positions, which, to be honest, from where Mercedes were, that isn't bad, like, in, in speaking. And we're also getting quite a bit of... Uh, we're also getting draggled as well. So that's going to potentially knock us up the grid massively. So that's what we'll do. Um, obviously, we've got 10 engineers to start the game with. So I'm going to put... Um, We'll put three on this, um, and do we rush it? We could rush this and get it on quicker. Um, let's just do a normal approach um, to 36. It's 12 days difference. So what are we looking? So 24 days. We're looking probably to get this in before Melbourne. So... I think let's yeah let's do rush because otherwise we're gonna it will be back you when we get the upgrades in which I don't want to do so it's gonna be two million but it's gonna be two million well spent honestly so we'll do that to start with um, obviously I did just say we're gonna do a side pod upgrade as well so um, yeah we'll do that um, in terms of side pods let's just have a quick look um, where we are uh, eleven fifteen yeah we're gonna do a drag upgrade on this. Uh, we'll do a drag upgrade and then we'll do probably engine cooling as well. But I don't know if um, they will intertwine, which could be a bit of a downside. So we'll put the rest of our CFD time on this. Um, and then we'll also put the rest of our wing tunnel time on this. So um, does this gain get us any gains already? Yeah, it does. It gets us high speed up to and then engine cooling up to as well. So that's massive again. Um, so first of all... I did just say we are going to do a drag reduction, so we're going to do optimise race performance, which is going to not cool it down massively, which is not what we want, but does that give us a massive boost? It gets us up 5 in terms of high speed, um, yeah, okay, it gets us up 4, and then if we remove the weight, it's 6. So, I don't like the fact that the engine cooling is so low. Like, we're still getting six gains. It's just the acceleration that we're losing. Like, we are literally only gaining, I think, two. So, I would rather, to be honest, not be in debt with acceleration. Because, look, on Russell's car, it gets to sort of five. Obviously, that is just what we've got on the team. But that is, I think, what we're going to do. Um, we'll put three engineers on this as well. Um, and when is this going to be done for? 30 days this will take, which is going to be in for uh, Melbourne, uh, no matter what. So I think we will just do that. And then, obviously, when the CFD comes in after, I think we'll be barring. We'll put two engineers, respectively, um, on each. So that is what we'll do to start with. Uh, chat. Um, actually, could we do a cheeky upgrade on anything else? Um, just to help us, potentially. Um, right. 
yeah, we're gonna have to see where we we because let's just see. So, what what should we do? Ferrari, and let's do chassis. Should shall we? Third, fifteenth. Okay, we're still really bad on engine cooling, so we'll put chassis upgrade maybe through the works here. Is this gonna get us anyway? It will get us up high speed two again, and that's just with the raw upgrade. So obviously I did just say we're gonna do a massive major engine cooling upgrade, but does that get us up much? Only gets us up four. So we will leave that for the time being. I think we we just we will just leave that. We've got thirty nine million here to spend. Um, so yeah, we, we should spend that on some nice places. But obviously Mercedes, they are quite uh, a good a good team when it comes to like facilities and stuff. So um, obviously they've got like a team up and stuff. Um, what should we do? I think what we need to do is we need to probably get an upgrade that's just going to massively help us in terms of gains, I want to say. Uh, look, yeah, downforce. We go up by like 0 0.1, which in F1 terms is quite big, isn't it? So, let's tell you what. Does that shut down? Okay, so... Yeah, no, we're good. Okay, we're going to do a wind tunnel upgrade to start with then. It'll be 12 million up front, which... To be fair, for Mercedes isn't that bad. So that is what we'll do to start with. Um, as I did say, we are going to look to potentially um, for an if upgrade you want to your staff to uh, focus for on... uh, Mick. So we will look for someone else potentially. I may just keep Mick Schumacher and then get the F2 champion uh, for next season. But we'll get him right as like their season ends. So we're not like obviously jeopardising the chances. The first person I'm going to obviously get scouted is Teo uh, Paul Chair, which could be a massive one for us. Um, I kind of also want to get like a British driver in potentially, so maybe like, yeah, an Ollie Behrman potentially here. Because um, I think he would be quite good. He's 17, and obviously if he gets a season under the belt um, in F2, then we should be able to get him after. Um, Frederick Vesti is another one. Um, that we could get chat as obviously he is the Mercedes driver in real life so yeah that is one what we'll keep an eye on for now that is what we'll do um, in technical chief what should we do obviously we want an F1 uh, technical chief so we have obviously the third best chief at the moment which is James Addison um, but we could look at potentially Dan Fallows who He's about the same age, so we, we'll look at Fallows, we'll keep right, we'll keep an eye on him, um, and then we'll get the Ferrari, we'll have a look at Ferrari, who is also open to negotiation, so Enrico Cardiel, I think his name is, we'll keep an eye on both of them, um, Aerodynamic Scouts again, we're the third best in terms of uh, car development, but Again, we have a 49-year-old, and then the top two guys are 40 and 44, respectively. So, I think we'll keep an eye on the Red Bull, on the Red Bull guy. And we'll keep an eye on the Ferrari guy again. Like, Mar Murphy is a good option for us still, but he is the oldest out of the top three. So, that is massive. But then, obviously, the next guy is Dirk De Beer. So... That's not a massive, so we will just keep that for now. Obviously, there's a chance we could maybe go and get um, the McLaren guy that we just saw. So, yeah. Um, but also, obviously, a race in terms of race engineers, Lambiassi is the man I want. Realistically, um, 43 years of age, 90 rated. Max Verstappen's engineer, brilliant. Um, Marcus Dudley actually for us is massive. Um, a massive purchase, and uh, well, not a purchase, but a massive player for us. So we will likely keep our two. I want to say, but obviously we may go for more later on. But we could look at Jonathan Wheatley as well from Ferrari, from Red Bull, or we could also look at Laurent Mekis, who, to be honest, is running the clown show um, currently at Ferrari. So we will just stick him on there as well but i think if maybe he was to come to us he could be a good option and we could also get randy singh 
um, from McLaren, who again is a great option potentially. 36 years of age is could be a massive option for us, and he's got a massive age difference compared to Ron Meadows and Jonathan Wheatley. So I think that would be more of a we lose short term, but then gain potentially longer term. So that is what we'll keep hold of for the moment. Um, but I am quite happy with that. Um, so obviously we will also put some development on. I'm going to do race strategy with Georgie Boy. Um, and then what is Lewis lower? Lewis is 86 and 87. And can we do adaptability? And no, we need one with adaptability. And yeah, we'll do wet track because I feel like that would be something that Lewis could do. Um, and then maybe yeah, this is the problem. The development rate on the drivers already at the team, they are low, so Mick is on an average, which is quite bad, like, considering, so, um, obviously that is what Mick is on, so we need one that really is affected, so yeah, we'll do race strategy again with Mick Schumacher, because look, he's a good driver, but I feel like we need to get someone else, but that is what we'll do uh, for the moment. And I'll be very happy with that. So let's just sim it, skip a few days. And obviously we'll be able to um, see what we can do. So we will just skip for now, to be honest. Um, and just see how this is getting on. Guys, if you are in chat, make sure to drop... Uh, make sure to drop something in the chat so I know there's actually, I'm actually getting people to watch. So uh, Yeah, nicely done. Right, so, I've done something I think to my stream. Oh, um, are we still alive? The stream's just found. That's cool. Are we still alive? I think we're still alive. Are live? Yeah, we're live. Okay. I'll just keep an eye on that then for now, boys. Um, yeah, so nicely done. Um, obviously, 17 minutes. I'm going to sit on stream manager for a bit. Okay then, so, that is what we're going to at the start of the season. The pit um, crew are a vital... The oh, that's not looking great. The pit crew will always just bear in mind, remember, once you're happy... Right, yeah, that's not looking great from us. Um, we can't do that. Oh, what was that one? Pit stop it. I want to do pit stop errors. You might see this, for some reason this is... We do pit stop errors. Is there any way we can make our... What's faster? I'm trying to fix it. Right, we'll do rise and lower. I think that could be big for us. 2.7 potentially. Actually, we're losing. We are losing now. Right, yeah, we're doing new tyres on. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Obviously, I think Mercedes struggled a bit with getting the used tyres on. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, in terms of Alisson, we'll put him on bodywork. Because, yeah, he's not great there. Um, Jared, where should we put him? Should we put him on... Yeah, we'll put him on cooling. Because he's like, his lowest. Um, Bono, I don't really see where he's weak. Yeah, let's do him on driver comms. He's still the best in the game, I think. Uh, 86, 87. Yeah, we'll do driver. We'll do Dudley on driver comms as well. Um, and then Meadows, where should we put him on? A 97, 92. Yeah, we'll do him on a 92 one. There, we did that. Uh, industry standards. Um, so, who else have we got on low? Okay. Yeah, so. Okay, boys. So, that is what we'll do. 
um, for the moment. Obviously, that is going to be a massive, massive thing for us. We'll end up probably doing two races here, um, to be honest, guys. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. In terms of objectives, we will do Reach Q3 and Reach Q2. That should be just the Mercedes standard. Um, actually, we'll do one on Q3, because I don't know why I've got a funny feeling someone's not going to get through there. Uh, finish streak. We'll do one, dr two drivers in the top eight. I think that's fair. We'll do five on that as well, so we get six mil. Yeah, that's a good one for us. So, without further ado, let's get into the opening weekend of the year. Nicely, nicely done there. And let's get cooking. Welcome to Bahrain, ladies and gentlemen. F1 is back. Every team and driver comes here with the same goal, to win. And that's for the end of the season. For now, they have to prepare to fight for F1 glory. Bahrain International Circuit was Formula One's first venue in the Middle East and is still a calendar favorite. Dusty and challenging, this desert track is a real test of endurance for teams and for drivers. There's now a rookie on the McLaren team, which is both an opportunity and a challenge. There's nothing like a race weekend in Formula One. All right, all right, all right, boys, let's get into this. So, practice one. I have no idea how to do this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the max load on the car. Um, we'll put fuel usage down. Um, car parts, you'll keep that 100% for now. Set up, I don't know. Well, let's just see where we are after we do the first runs. Um, obviously, we've gone uh, slower because obviously we have, um, what's it called? We have to try and protect the engine life because I don't really want to do too many penalties. Um, we could swap, um, Schumacher in, but I don't really want to go into this race. So let's get into practice one then. Um, this should be quite fun. Let's just see what we can do in this opening session. Um, obviously, an hour to go on the clock. Let's get out on the track and let's get some laps in, boys. Um, right, let's start a poll as well. Let's 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 do a poll while we're not doing anything. Let's. If you're in chat, which I think there's a good amount of people that are, uh, I'm hoping anyway. Right, we'll put a, we'll, we'll put a channel for the, yeah, we, let's put that up to light then, because we don't want them to cook, we want them to cook the tyres. Okay. We don't want them to cook the channel, the channel uh, tires. you know what I mean, but, round. right, what we'll do is we will add a, happy to start a reducing that management. How do we do? Pick up the pace. Okay. Right, if you're in chat, guys, let me know you're in chat. How do we... What I'm trying to do, guys. I'm trying to do a poll. How do we do a poll in chat? Can someone do a poll? Can person in chat tell me how we do a poll? I'm gonna do a chat. I'm gonna do a poll thing. I'll do a poll in a minute. Alright. Four seconds off the pace to start with, that's a good start. Obviously we will put probably a bit more of a competitive time when we get to the end of this third field of work. But when we get to the end of the third field of space, should be sorry. So, um, we'll skip that for now. Um, they are giving some temperature to these tyres, yet yeah, Hamilton is uh, getting warmer. We are going to be like 4-5 or five seconds probably out, as we're not doing um, proper runs. Well, we are doing proper runs, but you know what I'm on about, so... 
yeah, crossing the lane. And we are currently three seconds off the fastest time, which is on what's the fastest time? He's on a soft, so that's not massive, but not me. Right, four out of five on both cars. Can we get? Give, me, give us a balance check. Yeah, not happy. Hamilton is not happy with his time as I expected. Yeah, copy. Um, we'll wait on. We'll bring Russell in now as well, um, so we can do basically just one after the other. Um, okay, so Hamilton's happy with uh, the way his setup is on in terms of cornering. Um, right, I'm just trying to figure something that's not going to affect cornering. I will revert. So he's not like he's not the worst at this. Um, ideally, we need to get this all in. All right, let's try and get this all inside the working. Working area, should we call it? Right, we don't want that. We don't want the thing that was good to be like bad, if you know what I mean. So, we'll bring the towing down, I think. Okay, so that's what we're doing for now. Maybe one more click. Yeah, we'll start with that. We'll start with that, guys. I think. I have no clue where to go with Hamilton here. Okay, so it's the opposite for George. It's good. Well, both cars seem to be happy with cornering. Well, happy. As happy as you can get with cornering, so. It would be nice if, like, it was, obviously, it's what the driver wants, but it'd be quite nice on this if they were, like, it was pretty, like, operating win performance-wise, it was pretty, like, standard, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, it's not looking good in terms of braking, I suppose. That's, like, that is quite far out. We'll go with that low for both cars. Uh, I feel like that is pretty much what the standard should be. Um, good afternoon, guys. If you have just joined the stream, we are trying to make Lewis Hamilton an eight-time world champion. Welcome. At the pits, go both our boys in. And hopefully we can just get some pretty... Nice and easy laps in. This isn't going to be great as we are going to be probably held up a bit by guys. But there's not too many cars out on track at the moment. So that's what we need. Um, obviously we are just trying to protect engine components um, at the moment. So that is the main goal. We're not putting competitive times down. We, we might um, try and go later on um, for massive, massive times. Um, that is the plan anyway. So yeah. Obviously, we are going to be at the bottom of the times for now, because we're not going as fast as I think we can. I think we can go incredibly quick. We, there's a chance we go really quick here. So, yeah. 22 minutes, we are going to put our first times in. Um, after this session. Um, so, yeah. Let's just see what we can do. 4 out of 5. And Hamilton crosses the line. Uh, Lucy, you give us a balance good with check. The, he's good with the setup. That's good news. He was on bad just. So we're not going to uh, moan. Okay, I am not moaning there. Russell's pretty much the same. He's. I have no clue what he's just doing. He's just flashed up 5 and 5. So, okay, that's massive. Okay. Okay, so we have an optimal, which is big. Okay, right, we need to do that, and then can we pull? We need to pull. Right, we need to pull the, the trigger that way. Right. 
Right, we need to get the... Right, we've done that. So, that is good. We need to try and get this back into optimal now. Because we were or not. I think that's as close as we're going to get you now. Obviously, we are going to try and make some tweaks. Right, let's go with that. We, we've got the... We've got the, the gist of the fact that we've got Hamilton into a decent position. I don't know how... You guys, if anyone in chat knows how we can get that... Uh, how we can tweak that and get it back into where it was without messing the strategy up completely. With the, without messing the setup up. Well, Russell's on 70, so we are, we, are, we are doing okay. Like, we're not doing awful. Which is somewhat decent. Right, that's the big problem we had with Russell's car in terms of setup wise setup that was the problem we had just so um, we've gone with that I don't know if it's much of a change but uh, we'll go put 10 laps of fuel onto George we are going to put him I'm going to say onto a set of softs we'll put him on a set of softs this is not our soft running we'll do soft running in pre-2 we're just going to try and put a representative time down here guys I don't check, too bad. Come in! Alright boys, so... Breakfast, we are cooking. Right, let's go now. I'm right at the end of the session. We're just looking to put a representative time down here. We'll knock these guys up and we will push on fuel. This is effectively what's going to be our race run now. This, this is our race run. Because we're obviously, we're going to probably be on standard for a lot of the race. Um, and then obviously we'll end up pushing on fuel because I'm going to put more fuel in um, and then push with that fuel on board which might slow us down but should help us in retrospect as Russell goes into the top 8 with that opening lap Hamilton did get a bit held up there uh, by Guan Yu Zhou so um, that's not great as Russell runs out of fuel with P8 on the road We'll call Russell in, we'll let Hamilton complete his lap. Where's he gonna go? Okay, so he's not gonna go anywhere. Hamilton will end up the slowest car of this session, I think. Yep, check the flag now out. And George is through. Hamilton is the slowest. Russell's in P8. Nicely done there, to be honest. Not moaning uh, with that at all. Russell has got some more feedback, so that is quite big. Um, end of P1, and we are in a very happy position, I must would say. P8 for George, one second off, but that was without us pushing, so we should realistically be a little bit closer. I'm saying we're going to be in five tenths, uh, five tenths or more, six, seven, I want to say, of what will be the Whenever fastest time in qualifying. Yourself, we are going to do the, um, the, the P3 and. We will we'll, we'll do P3 and P4, so yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, 23% set, 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 set up satisfaction is not completely done, so uh, what we do, what we say in terms of mediums. Okay, so medium tire. Got two mediums. I'm gonna save a set of medium. Oh, we'll, no, we'll use two sets. Yeah, we'll use. We'll use one here, and then we'll use one in the next session as well, and then we'll use soft uh, for the race. 30, uh, we'll do standard. We'll do fuel usage. We'll put Hamilton on uh, 30 laps as well, and then we'll put fuel usage and that down. So that's what we'll do for Q2. P2, let's get into it. Uh, back out again we go. Thank God they did not show the cutscene. I did not bother to see that. Right, let's put let's put the boys back on light because obviously we know what happened with the temperatures. 
this is where we will do top running as obviously you can see this is where uh, the track is at its darkest and it's closest to qualifying conditions as we can realistically get it to be so yeah we are obviously concerned on fuel as well in case we want to go for a few extra laps uh three lap three development points on hamilton's car they're gonna flag out uh, no idea who that was uh, but we are only a second off the fastest time at the moment uh, two seconds off now hamilton is still p8 so, no p9 uh, but once the times begin to fall obviously that won't matter anyway massive crash then huge crash attention p2 here who's this is this going to be a vsc the claire oh the claire's had a stinker massive shunt in ferrari not bad but like it's not great is it so it doesn't look like it's gonna be a penalty but who has received the penalty then there let's have a quick look who's got a penalty is that i think that i've got a feeling oh i've got to take it to froze the game's froze chat oh the game's froze guys Yeah, game's froze. I'm going to have to pause stream and then uh, restart. I'm going to give me a second. Okay, yeah, we're back live. Okay, cool. Oh, there we go, that's better. Yeah, we're better, that's better. We actually got some buggy overlays on there. There we go, chat, nicely done. Hello, guys. We're not on sub goal 50 by the way, we are doing um, the first, well we are doing uh, 10 followers, so. What I'm going to try and do chat is I'm going to try and do. Why? 
Well, this isn't a followers only chat, so you can talk now if you are in chat. My bad. Um, yeah, okay, that's what we'll do. Okay, so if you are in stream, uh, you can talk to your heart's content now. Um, give me tips and stuff if you want. I am just trying to figure out how we can get. I want to do a prediction. How do you do predictions on here? Okay chat, so we are just trying to figure out how to do some of this stuff. Obviously we do it, oh, we are just jumping into T2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to qualifying because we've been waiting for a while. So we'll jump to we will jump to quality in chat. Um, yeah, I want to get a prediction underway uh, of what we think is going to happen in Q, in the next part of, into obviously qualifying. So uh, practice at the end of practice, and we've got 88% on Hamilton and 83 to set up satisfaction. So I'm quite happy with that. 80% driver prep for Lewis. 76 George, not great, but it's not bad at the same time. Hang on, let me let me. Uh, Our weekend continues with qualifying. Let me try and get some channel. Let me just try and get some channel points. Pumping pumping I don't know if that's when you get to affiliate. Can someone tell me if that's when you get to affiliate? Yeah. And even under the floodlights, qualifying is tough on soft tyres. I am only trying. I am trying to use their tyre so, allocations wisely. Um, Karun, if we could perhaps talk about Lewis for a moment, how do you think he's feeling? I'll say this, it's always a pleasure seeing a confident driver take to the track. Being in the right frame of mind is a real advantage. So stay with us folks, it's sure to be a good one. All right boys, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and do a poll for quality. I will just get on with Quali in a minute, probably, so, um, yeah, we'll probably figure, we might do one for the race instead, actually, but, yeah, okay, we'll start on, it. right, let's get into this, we'll get into Quali then, screw it, um, Thanks to all you guys that are watching at the moment, by the way. Thank you so, so much for watching this. Um, we are going to figure out in a minute how we can get... Um, how we can physically get... Is there anyone in chat that knows how we can get... I want to get something set up. Obviously, I, I knew this was going to be a mess anyway, so... This is always going to be a mess um, of a stream, to be honest. I must. Be. So yeah, thank you guys that have stuck around for what. Um, let's just try and do a stream manage. Um, is there a way? I think what we might do to actually is Okay, I'll find out how to do that later. I'll figure out how to do that for next stream, which will probably be later. 
in the week, to be honest. So, yeah, okay. We can't do a, ro a poll or anything for now, so we'll stream for a bit, a bit more, and then we'll we'll probably do this race, and I'm going to stop streaming. So, um, yeah, qualifying position. Look, I think we can get through quality here, realistically. Uh, we are going to put in um, the engine. We are obviously going to swap the engine um, and stuff. So, uh, Lewis, you're going to go to engine two. Um, I don't think that should realistically help. Um, ERS will swap to the other path. Um, and then gearbox, we're going to go to gearbox three. One and two will be for practice, and then three and four will be for races. Um, from George's perspective, um, from Lewis's perspective, it shouldn't be much different. Uh, we're going to go engine that, ERS will use to swap to the second one, um, and then gearbox we will swap to gearbox 7. So let's get into qualifying then boys, for the Bahrain qualifying in 2023, let's go. Come on. Right, so quality positions. Qualifying conditions are normal. Let's go um, and do a lap in early. Um, I'm expecting we need to do two runs um, in this Q1 session. We'll do one run at the start and then we'll do one at mid part probably when the track's gripped up a little bit. Bottas will get in the way of this run probably, so we are going to definitely go again. Uh, Hamilton's gone purple. If we can just get that delta and yeah, negative. Russell yeah, definitely box, got box, held up there by Bottas. Coming. There is no shadow of a doubt in my mind. Stand the yeah. Delta. Hamilton, box, box. that Russell and got the in car. the way. There's no chance. The really. So first one then, and Stroll is slower than us. That is the where I was realistically thinking we were going to be. We will go out um, in front of a run in this session. We're just going to wait. Um, for a decent gap, we're going to send him it now, just so we can get them out ahead of Piastri. Russell obviously is going to have the clean, fingers crossed, the clean part of the track. De Freeze hasn't set a time yet, so he will be going around the track quite slow. Russell has gone fast there, so has Hamilton. Russell's jumped to P7. Nice time so far. Is there a cut anyone yet to cross? Is there anyone for yet to cross the line? Hamilton's in so P5. P5. Okay, so no, no. Yeah, okay. Leclerc so is down box. in P12. Pull but remember, Leclerc Anderson. did crash in, in practice. Well, no, he didn't. No, because we had to restart, didn't we? Um, so he didn't crash. Ignore me. Um, I was going to say Leclerc crashed. So he, but he didn't. So that is nice to know. Um, Obviously, I don't think there's going to be too much of a uh, worry, and we are stuck again. Cool. Cool. Okay, chat, I'm going to have to restart the game again, I think, yeah. It's pretty much, we are going to get, we're only going to get uh, P5 anyway, so, um, I don't know whether the game will just end and let us go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause stream and I'm going to come back once I've done Q1 again.
okay, let me chat. What I've done is I've gone and reset um, the stream, and I've just quite. And we will do Q1 again. We we already know where we were gonna be anyway. Realistically, we're P5 and I think P7, so Q1 it doesn't really matter in my opinion. So yeah, we obviously we are just having a few little teething problems, but it's what it is. Um, we will just get into what will be Q1 again then boys um let's just try and oh, get through really into the next part of qualifying hopefully we don't have a bin from george russell or hamilton which we'll try to suppose would be quite nice um during this stage um so let's get into q1 again um yeah that'd be quite nice i suppose um let's do send both out again and let's get out into this race once again chat um let's try this time and just get an easy um an easy thing done here so around we go so we just need to get that delta negative okay yeah, we and it's p1 and p2 did we get okay. i think we could have been blocked there Potentially, I'm going to have to check Stand that. The Delta. Uh, potentially. Okay, so, uh, call the car and we'll box box. Okay. We are just going to come back to the pits. And I will stick us on a second set of tyres. Uh, well, the same set, but we'll really get ready to send them out once again. I'm just going to look for this gap. We'll send them out now, uh, just so they're out before Fiastri. Um, I think Hamilton did get a bit blocked there. And I do think we can still relatively go faster, right? I think. Um, hopefully, it's, it's still improvement. It, yeah, as uh, I said. What's all out? Yeah, we're happy with that. What a lap from George. Damn. It's only the AI haven't put the best time in. Or George Russell is genuinely quick. So box box. Uh, wow, cool this car. session could cause some yep. surprises here as George goes to the top of the timing. What a laugh! Come on, Verstappen he's leading the top and the timings as you'd expect um but the ferraris seem to be quite close three thousands in it between those two um stroll is then a further couple tenths back um and then we're a further tenth off stroll so a good start nice but we cannot put him past him so we'll send Hamilton out and we'll send George out um, in this Q2 session. Let's get this done and let's see if what we can do. Um, hopefully we can just put one lap in just and then the three is going to I'm going to moan. Uh, but we are beating both Alpines from here in the car. We are, yeah, we are going to need to fly down the order here. Let's just see what Stroll can do. Did he get... Okay, so he didn't beat us. So we are P5 and P6 legitly as it stands. Plan is we are going to do two runs um, in Q2. We'll save a set for the race, um, and we're likely going to have to do soft, medium, soft uh, on both cars. Then we'll stick uh, both drivers on that same set of soft compound tyre, and we'll get ready to send the pair of them out once again in this race. Uh, Ocon now looking to come into the box. Uh, we'll look for a little gap. We're not going to go again. We're going to stick to the bases and hopefully get through. Check a flag now out. Yeah, we're safe. We're yeah, we're safe in this session. Nicely done there, and we get through into what will be the next part of qualifying, guys. Nicely done. Uh, very very happy with that. P6 and P8 respectively, and we have two sets left. Out in the session, we've got Gasly, Ocon, Albon, um, Sonoda and the Freeze, as you'd expect. Um, surprisingly, the Williams are quite high, uh, respectively. They're, well, actually, no, Altari are quite high, respectively. Uh, it's a McLaren, though, that is slowish, which is quite odd. Um, I don't know if maybe there was an incident there with traffic, but 
there's definitely no chance we get pole here. Um, so I think if we can get P1, no, P5, 6, I want to say, then that would be quite nice. So, yeah. Let's see what we can do. We'll send Thomas in and Russell both out um, in this session. Uh, nicely done there. Um, we'll time 16 of that and we'll get both out on circuit. We have Leclerc ahead of us, uh, behind us here. So if we can block Leclerc potentially, that could give us a major hand. Uh, so we jump to the top the and Leclerc is move. only 3,000 off, box. but obviously he did get blocked, I think, there uh, by us. Just being that slow, so yeah, we did drop down the order anyway. It's P6 and 7 respectively, um, and we did only go out. Oh no, we did go on a set of new, normally. Um, but hopefully we can do some bit. We can do bits in this race. Well, in this second session, um, the Claire does go again as you'd expect. We'll send both of our drivers out. Uh, we'll give them enough of a gap, um, which could be massive here. Um, we will keep an eye on that gap as well between Verstappen and Hamilton just to see if they are getting close and we don't seem like they are. So it's Hamilton crosses the line and so where that is it? Is P6 currently. It's going to be P7 for Hamilton and then P6 for George Russell. Nicely done there. Where will Stroll go? Has Stroll... I think can Stroll has finished his lap. Yes, Stroll is done. So we are P6 and 7 on the grid respectively guys. That's nicely done. P6 and 7, Verstappen takes pole here, unless, yeah, Sainz is on the last, Leclerc's on the last, no, Leclerc's not on the last, so yeah, that's game over, Verstappen's on pole, for the bar and we're on three then guys, Perez is on two two, he will take that, the starters, nicely done, and yeah, P6 and 7 to start, we will take that, we will take that. Hang on. Alright then chat, we're back. Um, let's get into the race. This is going to be massive for us then. Um, we have no idea what to expect. All I will do is I will put an extra lap of fuel in the car. Um, we'll push at the start and we will deploy. We'll see what we'll do in a minute when it comes um, to driving options, to pace. Um, what we can do in terms of pushing or whatnot. Um, so the recommended stop here is going to be a two, a two-stop strategy. Potentially, could be the way is going to be the way to go. Um, I think the AI are going to do a soft, soft, medium, which is likely what we should go with. But what I am going to do is I'm going to split. I'm going to put Hamilton on soft, medium, soft. And then we'll put Hamilton and Roy George on soft, soft, medium. Because that is likely what the AI are going to do. Yeah, that's likely what the AI will do in this first stint. And then obviously once they've done that, then they will come in likely. So, that's what we'll keep an eye on for now, um, I suppose. So yeah, we'll do that. Soft, medium, soft, soft, medium. Um, 58 laps on both cars. Yeah, hopefully we can do a good job here. Uh, we will push to start the race, I think, on both. Well, yeah, we'll go push on. We'll push on both um, just to get this race on the way. Um, and then obviously we'll pretty probably knock down to an aggressive or just a normal. Yeah, but obviously the strategy goes today that George is going to be. Uh, likely the faster car out of the two of us. Here in Sakir, if we need the to stop strategies on, later on, we will. Whichever one's going to be at the front of this the field. If it's George that leads after and that one, of people watching and it isn't going to go for a five, progress. we are going to stick on the with the grid, that. But, so I'd expect yeah, to see them mount a challenge for the top three in this race. Here we go. It's time to go racing. Here we 
we go with the Bahrain Grand Prix. All right, then, boys, let's get into it for the red lights, the Bahrain Grand Prix. And it's, and it's lights out, and away lights we out. go. And away we go, a long hold there. And it's a good start. Just so he can get closer to Georgie Boy, yeah. George Russell on the other hand, just behind uh, Fernando Alonso. Fernando Alonso here. Look, Russell's gone flat through this first sector somehow. I think it's because of his amazing, his incredible run. Will that overtake for Russell as well? Overtake is available. Massive, massive key here to get um, the, first, the couple positions in front. I believe today that the chance we can fight two four, and then obviously I think the chair. He must still have had that intermittent into, uh, what was it, in P1. No, it would have been P2, wouldn't it? So he would have still had the problem in P2. So that is what the plan's going to be overall in this first bit of the lap. We'll uh, put the ploy on uh, for Hamilton here. Uh, both are on at ERS. Let's, let's uh, activate both of those uh, nicely here. Russell already falling back a bit here from um, Fernando Alonso. We'll do top up um, on George here, um, which obviously is supposedly. I don't, I don't know, I've not used top up. I have played this game before. Um, obviously, this isn't my legit first time, but obviously, um, I don't know what top up does. But we'll top up uh, the car and we will deploy um, here. Hamilton, we will do the same with, I suppose. Um, obviously, I, I think Harvest is when we, yeah, we're going to gain some mega, mega time. All we need, though, is just to gain um, this retrospective time. We will do a bit of calling uh, later on as Verstappen takes the fastest lap as it stands. But here comes Charles Leclerc. Then will he go for a move? No, he won't. He'll likely go for a move um, up the hill here, then. Um, if we can keep P5... That would be quite a good start to the season for us then. Um, but we'll just have to see what we can do then. Leclerc uh, is not going to go. Um, in terms of driver standings, what's happening um, in terms of constructors at the moment with P4, level one that we've asked them. Let's just hope we can keep that uh, for the moment. As we will deploy now with Hamilton. Yeah, BRS is on the back of that Mercedes car. Russell just seems to break, be breaking a bit uh, there from the test. That is quite huge, but he is on the hardest compared uh, to Hamilton now. Well, look at it. Though it's crucial here, guys, is the fact that we are still relatively uh, close to Alonso, should we say. So, that is a massive, massive thing for us uh, here. And Russell, I think, is using a bit of ERA. Um, but ultimately, that's the main thing. We are gaining here with the DRS. Are we gaining? Yeah, we have got DRS still for the guys in front. So we are being just nicely towed. We just need to... Ideally, with Russia right now, we just need to stick. We just need to stick with the guys. Because I think if we can get Hamilton past uh, Leclerc, that could be massive. That's what we need to focus on uh, at, at the time being. We need to, one, keep Russell in the DRS. Of Alonso, it don't matter if we can't overtake because we're still on level pegging. As you can see, yeah, we are. Oh crap! We've had a the big crash. crash in. Perez, Perez is short. Perez, what's this? Massive crash. Potentially, it's between one and it's red. The red balls. What happened here then? Perez has run wide. What happened there then? Massive shun. And for the crew that's watching on in the garage, shunt, that really must have been a well, hard one to take. Well, that's a massive shun. It's not even a crash. But for God's sake. But there's a penalty now for Paris, which is massive. All the damage now, though. To the, weird, the front wing of that red ball. That's my question. I don't know. Right, let's ride on board with the staffing. 
Right, well now we can damage you for the Red Bull's kit. It's not damage, okay, it's just a penalty there. So hopefully we can take, pick up the pieces potentially. That's going to be massive. Hopefully we can pick up the pieces of the guys in front. We will go to Harvey um, as it stands. Let's charge that pack. Guys, yep. a podium I think he's going to be on today. A podium will be on with a penalty uh, for Checo. But that Red Bull is rapid, so let's not get our hopes up potentially. As, oh, Hamilton, we missed that. Hamilton got up to P5. Oh, that's huge. That's massive, guys. Massive, massive. We will up to P5 and 6, respectively. We will take that, guys. Nicely done. Right, now let's try and get up to P4 and 3. That is what's going to be ma major now. Is if we can get up to that P5 and 6, respectively, here. Which could be massive. Potentially huge leg up. Piggins here as Hamilton looks for a move potentially now. Um, and Leclerc is already out of a second of um, Russell, of Hamilton here. So that is again a massive, massive move. That's huge. That is massive, guys. And at race one, we could be beating a Ferrari. This is going to be major, major game. Well, I think we can probably are level pegging with Ferrari as well. No, we're not. Okay, no, we're not. Um, that pretty much brings that one down to a halt. But I think as long as we're sticking with uh, the Ferrari, let's get this fuel um, back to balance at this moment in time. We don't want uh, to burn this as it stands. Is Russell using his ERS? Yeah, he is. That Ferrari load does seem to be falling back a little bit here. Which should give us a huge, a major opportunity potentially. Is the DRS on the back? Yeah, the DRS on the back of our car, potentially. We'll use ERS assist to try and get us past. Um, we'll go in two times here. Um, here goes Russell. Will you go for a move? No, he won't. Well, that is DRS on the back of Hamilton. Um, that is not a massive, major concern right now. The concern at the moment is just sticking um, with the Ferrari. Like, we can deal with P7, really. What's the difference? It's two points. But here goes Russell. Come on, George. Stick this one out, Murray. Come on. Has he got the move done? He's holding. He's holding this. He needs to just stick behind for the moment. Stick behind. Get the DRS. And then go for a move. But George Russell has had an incredible start to this race. We are cooking, guys. We are moving. Let, let's just absolutely cook in this race, as as that seems to be the major, major turning point. Um, oh, it's not great, is it? Not great. Um, as the guys in front, they are fighting still. Hey, that's me. Um, nicely done there. Now, DRS active. Can we get signs? Uh, finally in this race. No, we can't. Um, I think the plan wasn't to go aggressive, but obviously we are copying what the AI are doing here, guys. Uh, what are the AI on, actually? That's a good point. Uh, Leclerc, okay, Leclerc's on medium, so Leclerc will come back into this race later on in the Grand Prix. So, it might be a wise choice, actually, to stick with Hamilton on us. Actually, no, what we will do is we'll stick I'm imagine. I'm going to imagine actually that we will we'll stop. We will split. Uh, we will go to the soft, soft medium like we were doing with George, which could be massive. Uh, we're going to go aggressive in that part of the race, and um, we'll update the strategy then. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So now we get the DRS. Hopefully, um, obviously we are just cooking. We are just chilling. Uh, with fuel uh, at the moment, there's DRS on the back on the back of our car again. Uh, but the main pro the main point at the moment is that the fact that we are we're just keeping the Ferrari and uh, we're just keeping the Ferrari and the Aston behind us. How much does this seem closer um, on this lap? It would seem. Um, so then into the final corner we come. DRS potentially 
uh, on the back of George's Mercedes. Uh, here we go, he's gaining in this race. We'll deploy ERS again, and we will also deploy the ERS on the Liberty's car. Uh, but there just seems, yeah, there just seems to be a bit of a gap now for me uh, in front there. We do seem to be out of pace now with a Ferrari. Hopefully they fight again. Let's skip a bit. Let's skip to... We'll do four times speed now. Uh, okay, no ERS, guys. Uh, let's go back to... Actually, no, let's do top up. Let's do top up. I think top up's going to be the best idea. We'll do top up on uh, Lewis's car there as well. And remember, there is still a penalty. Um, yet to be served on the Red Bull. So that's a big thing. But yeah, two seconds. Yeah, two second gap now, guys. Temps are climbing. Temps are now climbing. A massive gap. We'll drop. We we'll drop George, um, down. Um. Oh, I forgot pinning. He wasn't gonna make it out fun. Oh well, no. Okay, we don't need an extra strategy, guys. Okay. So, Kaiser overheating, I think that is on both cars. I think the engine, co the fact that the engine cooling um, is bad on our, engine cooling is bad, I think that is what's affecting us potentially. That will be, what we'll do is when it comes to engine cooling, we'll do an upgrade when it comes to like itself. So, obviously we'll, we'll, do, an en we'll do an engine cooling upgrade and then we'll do them a drag. So we'll do a drag and then we'll do an engine cooling, so we're not losing drag and we're not doing engine cooling. So, yeah, that's a big, a big plus. Uh, I think he's using his ERS there, too good to use. Uh, yeah, we might as well just skip here. Um, this is, like, I don't think Leclerc's going to go for a move, realistically. Um, Alonso and Sainz is still breaking away here, so that's not great. The tyres are still overheating on George's car, which isn't great. There we go, first sign that the Leclerc's tyres are actually going to be, are actually too light now. Uh, hopefully we can just engage in a fight with Leclerc and just get back past. Um, interval speaking, we're still two seconds with George. So the major point, well the big points are going to still be um, for George, I suppose, here. Um, as there is still DRS on the Mercedes um, in this Grand Prix. Lap number, hang on, let me change something for my setup. Let me change my setup, something for my setup really quick, just because this is really really peeing me off um we'll put it to the um which we'll put it to the top okay right round number 14 now and oh oh we've been mugged what happened it was literally two seconds okay so george has been robbed then we probably missed something I was saying, I was trying to sort of set it up here. It's not great. It's really, really not great. We are going to lap out for the pit from the pit window. Uh, Stroll gets Hamilton. Oh no, it's not great. We need to gain. We need to gain, guys. Stop pit window. Now, mate. Yep. Fine. Pit window now has been entered. We soft. Oh, I have seen uh, the best. Their best. Uh, where I suppose here um, so what are the guys on okay yeah we are likely we have the worst tires we genuinely have the worst tires here seven and eight and what a surprise they have gained they have gone significantly here and it's not it's not great guys it's really really not now it's just trying to consolidate this position um, signs is the first man to box could be huge. Okay, let's push with Russell, and we'll push with both because we're going to pit uh, one this lap, one next lap. So uh, we'll put we'll box Russell. No, what are we going on to? Yeah, we're going on to second set of softs just to try and keep up. So we'll box George at the end of this lap. Let's put him uh, onto aggressive. Hamilton goes an extra lap. Um, we'll put what we'll do. Oh no! Russell's still. Russell's locked. Russell's on a lock up. Mega Mare for Russell. Russell locked up then. Into the final corner. Not great. 
we're going to conserve the tyres. I want to get Hamilton. Sure keep these tyres um, Not name. to get other tyres one. Russell in. 2.8. That is a bit slow. It is slow. We're not going to get a good start there, guys. It's just, it's just what it is. Uh, we will drop, yeah, we're going to drop past um, signs here. So, where are we going to come out? Um, we're going to come out just behind Lando. Okay, it's not bad. Um, you need to get this move done, though. So, straight on, straight on to aggressive. Push and straight on. We're pushing to the end here. Actually, no, we need to the temp window on these tyres. Okay. Yeah, we'll go one more lap with Hamilton. We will go that one more lap. Actually, yeah, we'll go one more lap. We'll inherit the race lead and just hope that there's a safety car on this lap. There's not going to be a safety car. The game hates us. Well, Russell hates us, apparently. Russell has managed to finally clear. So, at least we are on the op we are Okay, guys, we are on the optimal lap now. Like, hypothetically, we're on the... Alright, so what I do want to know now is where Stappen comes, where Perez comes out. Because I think he might just fall. He's gonna, I think he will fall behind the Aston. I think, yeah. Uh, Hamilton does come into the box. I will come into the, into the box this lap. Um, we'll harvest with both. And into the pits comes Hamilton. And Russell, I'm imagining, uh, will probably inherit um, the position P7, I'm going to say. Um, as Hamilton comes in. Come on, Ray. Good start. Good start. 2.7. 2 Not great. A caution could have traffic on exit. Okay. Okay, that's massive. We are ahead of Norris now. But that gap is ridiculous. Yeah, chat, I think this is going to be game over. Like, in terms of forward positioning. Actually, no, it's not over yet. If we could get, where's right? Let's look. Where are the clear? The clear's on pit exit. Joel's, hang up. on. Yep. Joel's, Joel's been held. Joel's been held in the pits. I think. Joel's been held. Yes, Joel's been held in the pits. We are going to get out ahead of Joel. That's massive. Good news. Hamilton isn't on aggressive. Not great. So you can pick up the pace. We doesn't have the warmed up players yep. compared. Um, two of the ones of uh, Stroll, so that's big news for us. It's massive in this Grand Prix. So we have lower can we still get this move done and knock on? Yeah, we can. Sticks it around the outside, move done, and up into uh, what will be P7 in this race. We still have people yet to pit, um, so hopefully George can gain, but yeah, some stupid time game there. We are going to get, Stroll does get past um, thingy there, but we are gaining on stroll then. Um, what are the AI on? Okay, so the AI have gone on to mediums. They've done the opposite of what we've done. We've done... We, we, we've taken the speed now, we, which is probably likely going to affect us, as it normally does. Um, what are we talking on the interval? Okay. Okay, so Hamilton does get past Albon there, and is again on the back of Stroll, it looks like. And surprise, surprise, there is a gap. There is a, a, a gap to warm It just seems like Russell, for some reason, is the faster of the two cars at this stage in the race. So... Yeah, nicely done. Our battery is off now. We'll conserve that. And we'll also conserve on George car, George's. Actually, what we'll do with Lewis, we'll do different. What we'll do instead is we'll turn the RS shift off for the one. Um, we'll do top up with Lewis because he's in a battle. If he wasn't in a battle, then we'd put him on natural harvest. Um, yeah, it's not the same amount. Oh, yellow! Is it safety car? No, not safety car. We'll have a look at the incident really quickly, then, guys. Magnuson. Magnussen, has he done a spinner? He's done a spinner! Way! Way! He's done a spinner! He's done a spinner! Magnussen in the mud there, guys. Doing a brilliant, a brilliant spin um, in this race. So, yeah. 
Not great. Not bad at the same time. Okay. okay, so here comes Hamilton now. I'm imagining um, trying to catch you. We'll just skip 16. Uh, case attempts are hitting the limit. Okay, Russell, on harvest for a few minutes then, um, just to try and get enough to push away, I suppose, in this race. Um, as now, Hamilton, can he go for a move? It's about tenth, isn't it? We're do yeah, I'm going to do a long charge. We're going to do. Along, yeah, we'll do two laps of charge and then we'll do two laps of deploy. So, yeah, we, we can we'll do the same with George. And did you look? No, it doesn't look like that guy's gonna fight. Okay, Russell back to P6. Massive, right? I would try and swap him on track. Do we try and swap our boys on track? No, we're not gonna. Sleep. Okay, Joel's gone. Joel has gone in this race. He has left us in the bin. We are 16 seconds though, ahead of Gasly. That is one you need to watch for, guys. If we end up, if we end up with in a gap of the pit, we will come in and we'll do a, a stop right at the end, and we'll do it with whoever I feel is going to be better. Okay, so we're okay. So we could realistically. Push. We'll go. We'll go aggressive on the last strategy with Russell, and then in terms of Hamilton, he ha he hasn't got another stop apparently. Wait, like he's on the. Wait, like what time is Hamilton on? So Hamilton's. On, so Hamilton's on the median set guys. Oh, I didn't realise that one. Right, we're gonna get Paul Russell in. And we're calling him on to a medium. Hamilton. We don't want to stop him twice. We'll keep, we've got to keep Hamilton out because he tires. I've only just realised. But yeah, Russell into the box. 2.7. Okay, not great. We're out behind Ocon. We need to clear that. We need to clear Gasly as well. For what the, I think the AI pit again. Well, we have just box. Oh, jeez. Uh, right, Hamilton, we need to put another star. Um, right, what should we do? We don't have another set of mediums. We've got another set of softs. Right, yeah, we can get to that pit window. We're going to do that. We're going to do the opposite. And then if we need to... We have a few sets, so we'll put Hamilton um, probably on... Temps are getting high. Right, so Verstappen comes in. There is. Okay, so we're nine seconds ahead. I feel like we've kind of screwed our drivers over here, guys. I don't know why. Declare pit from P2. Uh, Russell down on right. Uh, where are we? In terms of pit, looking at the pits. Right, let's box. Let's box Lewis. Game on to a set of socks. We just nurture it. We'll just nurture okay, these box, guys box, to the end. Box, box. Box yeah, luckily, we can go aggressive. We can go in. Yeah, we just need to make sure that uh, we don't fall off a cliff on that tyre. Yeah? Right, we're back. Um, 
Right, yeah, so we are going to watch Hunting Coming to the Pit. Um, where is Russell actually? Where is he? Russell's playing. So into the pits does come Lewis then from the lead of the race and funny enough that is a now a legitimate uh, gap to Russell. So Hamilton goes on to set soft. Um, I'm probably going to do... Exit. Obviously as we are doing eight, Lewis to an 8th world championship, I think I will give Hamilton that benefit of the doubt. No, well actually, we'll leave Russell out. We'll give Hamilton... Um, yeah, we'll give Hamilton... Yeah, Russell's just quick. No, actually what we'll do, yeah, we'll box... We'll, we'll nurture Lewis to the end, and then we'll just box Russell uh, at the end. So what we'll do is, if we, as a stim, we're going to do a second, another set on to another soft. Um, so what's the end of that? So 57 lap race. Pit warm up. Um, if we box him lap 55, I want to say, so right at the end, we will add 18 seconds to our time, but then again, like, who's bothered this stage? We're obviously just nurturing Russell to the end of this race, and then Hamilton. I reckon Use we could go, we could go more aggressive with Hamilton, but then again, I just want to, I just genuinely want to protect um, the, the points we've got. And then I feel like with Russell, we can get, again, single points. And even if George does get break a bit, quite a lot from G. Right, let's just hope we can get that fuel back in as well. Obviously, I'm going to start prepping with George in a few laps for um, that soft stint, probably, to go. Oh, Stroll's in and just come out behind. Major then. We might get Hamilton to do this ex this other strategy then. If I right, listen. If the strong, right, if strong doesn't get past Hamilton, then we'll keep both out. We'll keep both out. That's the plan. But if Hamilton gets overtaken by strong, he'll come into mix and then go for the fastest lap attempt. That is what the plan's going to be. I forgot that Shaw had to come in again because he's on um, the ultimate strategy. But there is a gap, so I am expecting that gap to come down quite quick. Uh, okay, so drained, and... Um... Okay, so Hamilton is relatively sticking in the DRS of George, which is what we want, really. Like, we don't want it, but, like, you know what I mean, we do. Right, Hamilton seems faster at George at this stage. I'm going to spot the cars. Yeah, let's swap the cars. I feel rusty. It I've... always pay. There are several. Wait, are both on? Well, I know Hamilton's on soft, and but they're both on deploy, and Hamilton's gaining. He's gaining about a second on that last lap. So I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna tell Russell to bugger off and let Hamilton through. It's not an ideal place to let Hamilton through here. There is, yeah, that is some significant gains. And as soon as ha Russell gets close, Hamilton gets close to Russell, uh, we'll let him over to Tay. Has he gone past Tay? Hopefully he hasn't screwed Russell over too much. Russell does literally have to park it on the curb though, so it's not great. But we will um, just let that happen and we'll activate the DR ERS again. So. Yeah, as I just said, Hamilton has got a second, is the fastest. He's faster than George at this stage by a mile. Yeah, as I expected. Now, Stroll is going to be on the back of Hamilton sooner rather or later here, though. If we need an aggressive, we can go aggressive. We've got room to push, I think, on these set tyres. George on that. I think we need to pull the tyres back in. Yeah, let's pull the tyres back in. Let's try and get some temperature back into the set. Look, we're, I think with end of the day, we are safe, I think, from Gasly, in terms of, like, a pit delta, as Magnussen comes in for half. And, yeah, okay. 
Right, let's get Russell back to aggressive then. Hamilton, I think we are just going to stick. Yeah, we're just going to stick with this from there. I think that's... We, we are just... We're just going to do this. Um, we need Joe to give Hamilton the DRS, practically. Like, we don't want him to give, get, give way too fast. I think we are going to go fastest lap here. We, we're definitely going for fastest. I think we can keep... I feel like we can keep Russell... We can keep Stroll at bay. I feel... I think we can. He's getting DRS. Will he go for it? No, he won't. Okay. We are safe. We are safe for now. Oh, Hamilton! What's he done? And here, we've got a yellow flag. What's he done? Right, let's follow the action now at turn seven. Pushing a bit too He's hard at this point. Oh, and the car's there, unable to keep out of each other's oh, way. Oh, so there is a bit of contact there, that. Okay. That's really it. Big time. We just got... I can't believe Stroll hasn't got a penalty. Joe, I'm not getting a penalty as a joke. Um, right, we'll tell Russell to push. We're going to go yeah, we to the end. We're going to the end. Okay. Uh, we're just going to have to concede. I will give the, we'll, uh, we'll take the time penalty at the end of the race. I'm happy to take the penalty at the end. There's no way, there's no way Hamilton gets a second. They get to five seconds. So I may as well, we may as well come to some of that. Pit window now open with George. Um, we are going to box to number 55, I think, here. Uh, we'll charge up Russell for a few laps. I'm happy for Stroll to bugger up. We're just going to try and bring both cars home here. Oh, three laps. Okay, we need to box George on this lap. If we're going to do this strategy. Right. We've been charging for this. The entire race. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to... I'm going to go to aggressive, just so that we can get the tyres all prepped. This is effectively a quali lap. We are going to do a quali lap here, chat. Russell comes in. Where is this going to leave us in terms of Gasly? Russell has not put his tyres on yet. He's just come into the pits now. Come on, back out, boys. 2.7. Can we get back? Can we get out ahead of Gasly here? It's going to be unlikely. It's going to be close on exit. To be very close and empty. I think he's just got us. Yeah, he's just gonna get us here. Oh, got him. Right, hopefully. Right. I reckon we should pick up the pace. Right, I think we screwed a rusty over here, but we don't for fastest last. I don't reckon eighth is worth going because I don't reckon the fastest lap is worth going for actually. He would have got four points for P8, but it's what it is. Obviously we're gonna go um, on the attack. So ties are nice in a nice little window. What we'll do is we are gonna push um, and deploy. I'm not gonna push on fuel. Um, I feel like pushing on fuel is just a bad idea here in general. Um, Right, Russell does go green. It's not purple. That's the problem. I just don't think about getting the pack. Okay, so on. last lap. Just happens on his last lap of the grade. So this is where it all matters. Right, we're going to tell Hamilton just to push now because there's no point so head down. in serving this tyre anymore. Uh, where's George? Okay, I'm hoping he's not been blocked. One more lap. Okay, he's going green again. What is the fastest lap? That's like what I want to know. We aren't going to get over the heat and tires, but George just needs to... We all tell George to go for a high overtake and Just show me what you've got. Come in. Okay, so we are in the last lap of the race. Where is the Stappen? The Stappen is coming through the final couple into the front sector three. We can we're right on board with that in a moment. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, 
Well, where's what? Okay, Russell's back up to P8. Nice. Hopefully, we can put one more good time in with George. That would be nice. Here comes the staff and then through the final corner. The staff will come home to take the ring here in Bahrain. Nice he will work. take that. It's the first win of the year for Red Bull. And I'm pretty sure there will be a 1 2 here. But these yellow flags now out behind them. I'm not sure who that is. We we'll just have to see the staff and win um, the race. Are we going purple? Yes, we've gone purple through that first sector. We need to be careful of this middle sector here. We're neutral on the, on the ERS just for the moment. Hamilton overtakes Stoll, so we will pick up P6 on track here. Hopefully, we don't lose. We are going to the fastest lap attempt. Otherwise, there is literally no point to doing the fastest lap. We'll push Hamilton through this last part of the lap. Uh, we'll tell Russell to push as soon as he gets through into this final sector in terms of uh, pacing here. Here comes Russell then through this middle sector. He goes purple. Okay, we're on a purple lap. We'll, push, we'll tell Russell to push then through this final part of the lap as well. Hamilton gets so P6 on track. And I think so overall P6. that will be okay, uh, P7 mate. for Lewis. Let's keep pushing, um, guys. As now Russell comes home. So Can we get a fastest lap? Who finish? Hamilton is having a ramp as normal. And here comes George. Can he get fastest lap? And yes, he does. The whole plan of getting George a fastest lap has worked. Okay, so we've taken the flag. Nicely done there, guys. P8. We are nicely, nicely nice done. The penalty probably will be in effect at the end of the Grand Prix then. Um, obviously right, Hamilton has five seconds to add to his time um, at the end of the race. But overall it's Hamilton, uh, it's George who gets P8. Overall it's a nice haul of points I'd say uh, at the start. Hamilton gets an eight point and then George gets six here. Not, not bad. A great drive today from Max Verstappen. What a brilliant race that was for the team. They just did everything right. The driver included of course. A great display of team spirit there, as everyone finally gets the chance to share this moment. And no doubt, the Stappen fans will be celebrating the Dutchman's achievement. Their first win of the season, and it was really well deserved. And we've certainly kicked things off in style, here at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to be honest, uh, it's, not, it's not great. Like, I'm happy, but I'm not happy at the same time. And as proceedings start to wind down here, what will Mercedes have made of this result, Karu? They didn't do too badly today. A pretty respectable outcome as far as they'll be concerned. But they need to keep pushing. They can't afford to sit back. And that is about that for this weekend's action here in Bahrain. In the next round, we head to the shores of the Red Sea as Formula One returns to Jeddah for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Yeah, then boys, so uh, we'll take that, I suppose, at the end. Um, it's probably not the result ideally we wanted. Um, we, we definitely could have had better. Yeah, so as I did just say, I, I knew it was going to happen. Hamilton just got, dropped down. Um, 2p7 respectively at the flag. Russell gets five points, um, so nice swing of points in the championship. Driver standings wise, obviously it's not really hard to have a guess who's leading the championship. Verstappen takes the lead. Um, constructors wise, we've had a good few points. Uh, 11, 11 points on the board, seven behind um, Aston Martin. So not bad, not bad to start. Um, yeah, it's not great. Like. It's just not, but it's what it is. Um, in terms of pit stops, we definitely do not have fast pit stops today. Zero in terms of pit stop time. Um, and yeah, it, we were just slow. So, not great, but overall, we do need to pick ourselves up, I suppose. Um, but luckily, the bonus clause in both contracts is get third and above. And right now, that is not happening. So, we save a little bit of cash there, but... At the end of the day, it's what we'd expect from the first race, I suppose. Um, it's not the greatest of starts, but it's not the worst. So, we're unhappy with that. Um, car inspection results. Have we got everything back across? Yeah, we have. Um, and the new IRT starts. So, yeah. We'll, what we'll do is we'll finish off with this. Um, and then, I think I'm just going to call quits on the stream. So, 
I hope you've enjoyed if you have made it um, to the end. Thank you for that one viewer uh, for watching pretty much, I think, for the whole 104 minutes here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, well, what we will do is, to finish off, we are going to get some more uh, car parts on. Uh, let's have a quick look at our analysis. We'll keep uh, tabs on Ferraris. Um, they were one that I think we were quite close with. So, uh, let's, obviously, we're going to do a front and a rear, rear wing. So, let's have a look at where we're low on terms of um, front wing. Okay, so, yeah, they are just fastest in general. Um, let's do brake calling. Yeah, let's think, let's work on calling, I think. And then rear wing, I think it's going to be DRS or Delta. Yeah, we're shocking on DRS Delta, so we'll do that. Okay, let's do... Okay, first of all, let's do a front. We'll put half of our... Again, we'll put half of our time um, in this to get a, heart, a bulky upgrade package um, coming in. Um, and then we will do 32 um, on this. Um, we'll do that. Uh, what does that gain? It gains too high speed already. And then we'll get rid of that. So that will be plus six. And then also high speed is four as well. Um, I did say we were going to do brake calling. So that does knock us up six positions. Um, it don't really affect us too much anywhere else. Um, again, I think I'm going to go for what works on acceleration, to be honest. Like, what does acceleration, what, what else in terms? Right, so it's more about the weight, okay. Right, let's focus our attention to the high speed again. Um, and then we'll knock that up so we're at least gaining somewhat. Um, high speed, what does that go? Okay, so we're not, we're not making gains. Right, what what were we gaining? Okay, so what was it six? Was it six in general? Yeah, we're going to just gain six bases. So we'll do that for front wing. Um, Forty-five days to do that, which will be for Baku, probably again. Um, that's going to be quite slow though. So I'm going to half. I'm going to take two weeks off that. And we're going to put it for... Um, actually, no, we've got to put two engineers on that. Yeah, let's put two engineers. It'll take 28 days. We'll do that. Uh, start project. And then uh, we'll do one rear wing as well. Uh, we'll put the rest of our time in that. Surprise, surprise. Um, obviously, remember, we are just going for a bulkier upgrade package um, in general. DRS delta-wise, we go up for... Um, I think the plan was we're going to try and do uh, DRS Delta here. Yeah, we're trying to do DRS. Okay, let's do DRS Delta. That's what I want to get us up in. Okay. Well, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. That's That looks really good. We're going to do that for DRS Delta, and we're going to get rid of that as well. So that is going to be massive upgrade. Eight, plus eight in the terms of DRS effectiveness, which basically puts us on par with Red Bull, I think. I'm hoping it does. And then we get another plus four in terms of high speed. It's not going to be perfect at the start. Like, it's just not. So if we do that, then that should leave us in a very good spot. We'll do 26 days, which should get it. Just after now, the design will be just done just after um, Australia. So we'll design that. We'll get 109 more left of the cost cap. Uh, that'll take us to 107. But yeah, uh, nicely done there. And yeah, that is where I think we will leave the stream today, guys. Um, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed, I suppose. Actually, now let's do one more thing before we finish. Um, let's do a suspension. What does that do? Does that do anything? No, I don't. Okay. Right. That's where I'm going to leave the stream then today, guys. Um, thank you for watching, I suppose. Um, it's going to be very, very touch and go if we can get P2 in the Constructors' Championship. We're definitely 
Um, not going to do that, probably, I'm going to say. Uh, the board, they, they're disappointed. Like, I don't know what we're supposed to do, I suppose. But we'll see what we can do. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Thank you for watching. And, yeah, I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye. Actually, no, before I say do go, um, check out my YouTube, um, uh, The Rampant Gamer. Um, there should be a link somewhere on my channel, um, on here. Just click it, go and check some of my F123 career mode videos out. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.